the weekly planning process using Opus One. Welcome back. Opus One delivers a brilliant planning tool. However, it can be a bit like having a beautiful sports car but, but not knowing how to drive it sometimes. These training videos are designed to help you get the most out of Opus One. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about the weekly planning process and why it works so effectively. I want to stay with the car analogy for a minute, specifically navigation systems and the maps that help us get to where we want to go. Before we start out on any trip, we obviously need to be clear where we want to go. Life is really no different. However, many people go through each week not giving any thought to where they're heading. Just like getting in the car and driving randomly, following wherever the road goes, is there's no way of telling where you'll end up. Opus One helps you take care of this step by utilizing the Mission tab. This is the tab for identifying where you want to go in life and helps you paint a clear and vivid picture of what is most important to you. And this video is not necessarily about teaching you how to get the most out of the Mission tab. However, understand that developing your mission is an ongoing, evolving process as your life changes and evolves. So too may some of your priorities and directions. Visiting and reading your mission tab every day allows you to see the day through the lens of your personal mission, vision and values. Decisions that come up throughout the day, the way you respond to things and people and how you go through your normal daily routines should all be viewed through the filter of your mission, vision and values. Your mission helps ensure the decisions you make are aligned with your highest priorities. Our mental maps. If we were to plan a road trip to a place we've never been before, then it makes sense to first have a look at the map. There are three levels of maps that we could consider. The wide view of a map might show us the entire country or state, depending on how far we're travelling. This view is important as it gives us the overall view of the entire trip. It sometimes shows us the various terrains that we might encounter, mountains, forests, etc. It helps us prepare for long-term issues and strategies. We can plan on where we might need to refuel and make overnight stops as necessary. This view is like long-term planning, having a one, five or ten year plan. This sort of plan is very important as it shows us where we want to eventually end up but it's generally too far in the distance to have any immediate impact on our daily decision making. On the opposite side of the planning spectrum is daily planning. Daily planning gives a structure around the 24 hours that we have available to us every day. Many calendar systems in the marketplace focus on daily planning. Whilst important, it, it, often, has, it often has us in the reactive mode of life. With only so many hours in the day, jobs, tasks and urgencies have a tendency to fill these hours very quickly. All too often, these urgencies rarely have anything to do with our highest priorities in life, not getting us closer to where we're wanting to end up. They're a bit like constant detours on our journey, and if we're not conscious of that, we can end up heading in a direction we didn't initially wish to take. Taking a weekly view to planning gives us much more a much more workable time frame to plan for the important things in our lives. This view of a map would show us the upcoming turns in the road, tell us how far to the next exit, possibly any traffic ahead. This is like our weekly plan. We generally live our lives in terms of a week at a time. Work hours are increasingly more flexible and varied than ever before, but the context of a week still frames most people's lives. It's also the sweet spot to planning. Yearly, quarterly and monthly goals are important, however there's so, something much more achievable about the concept of a week without the busyness and urgency of daily planning. Spending 30 minutes of planning time at the beginning of each week, thinking about the week ahead through the lens of what's most important, allows you to schedule in times for the, these highly important elements before the busyness of the week begins. Planning at this time gives you the clarity of focus without the urgencies and pressure that inevitably appear at the beginning, in the middle, and at the end of each week. So you can focus on the people and the things that are of most importance to you for the week ahead. You can make decisions based on importance 
not necessarily urgencies. Opus One allows you to do this very effectively. I want to touch on the order of the tabs in Opus One. This order is fully flexible and can be changed to suit users' personal needs or preferences. Users can rename each of the tabs to be more specific to their own circumstances. I believe the best order for the tabs is as follows, and I'll explain why as we go along. Mission, Compass, Goals, Master Tasks, Daily Tasks, Meeting Planner. Step one of the weekly planning process. Each weekly planning session should begin with reviewing your mission, vision and values so that as you're making decisions about what's most important, it's done through that perspective. That's why I placed this tab at the very start of the process. This will help you decide what comes first when scheduling and prioritising your activities. Following on from this is the compass tab. This is the place where you can identify the roles you play in life for the week ahead. Now these roles may change slightly from week to week, so just focus on the week ahead. Having identified each role, ask yourself the question, what is the one thing I can do in this role this week that have the greatest positive impact on that role? Assign this activity as a task within that role and allocate a day and time in the week that you'll do that task. Having the weekly view of the calendar to the right allows you to see the available time you've, that you have for this priority in the week ahead. Some of these tasks will need to take place outside of business hours. So will occur some will occur during the day. However, this activity is probably one of the most important steps in the productivity process. Placing items of high importance on your calendar in advance before the busyness of the week kicks in. Everything else in the week then needs to fit around your already scheduled priorities. Too often, we let the week's activities fill our time and then try in vain to fit in our priorities around that busyness. This then leads to feelings of stress and frustration. Frustration comes from when our activities don't meet up with our expectations. Rather than change our expectations or priorities, I'd suggest we change the way we approach our activities. Once you've completed this step, move on to the next tab, Goals. Take time to review your progress and achievements in this area. They're great tools on the desktop version of um, Opus One to assist you in, in reviewing your progress towards your goals. At this point, for each goal, ask yourself the very same question you did with regard to the roles you play back on the Compass tab. What is the one thing I can do for this goal this week that would have the greatest positive impact on moving me closer to that goal. Same again, assign whatever that activity is to a task and put it on your schedule for the week ahead. Regardless of how busy the week ahead gets, you've already assigned time to complete the activities that will move you closer to your goals. Even though these are simple steps, making sure you've scheduled your highest priorities onto your calendar for the week ahead, it's important to exercise the discipline to carry out those appointments on your schedule when the day comes and not let the urgencies of the moment take higher priority. The next tab to move to during this weekly planning process is the Master Task tab. I use this tab as a place to put all of the things I know I need to do but haven't yet decided on when I'll be able to do them. Now that you've reviewed your mission, vision and values, identified your roles and goals and ask yourself what's the one thing you can do in each of those areas to have the most positive impact or move you closer to achieving them, now you can look at this master list of tasks and ask yourself if there's going to be time to complete any of the items on this list or if any of these items have increased in urgency or importance for the week ahead. Once you've made that decision, go ahead and drag these to the appropriate day and time or assign a time and date to them in the editing mode of that task. At this stage in the process, you can now start to look at each day on the daily task tab. Please take time to check out the, the, the video on this daily task tab and how to make the most of it. Many people run their lives around just this one element of planning, daily planning. Whilst it's an important element, it can often have you constantly in the reactive mode. 
responding to not just the urgencies in your life, but often in the lives of others. Day after day of this type of existence has led to the phrase, the rat race. Racing through life, taking detour after detour, never actually getting any closer to your end goal. People sometimes get so caught up in this type of lifestyle, they never stop to look at where they're heading and can often get burnt out from the constant running. These steps don't take a lot of time. However, the value they can have on your weekly productivity and effectiveness in life in general can be profound. You'll find yourself getting more done than ever before, as well as being more effective with the things and people that matter most in your life. When you base your decision making on a principled mission based center, you can act with integrity at times when you may need to say no to the urgencies in order to do the important. There will come times where you need to act on urgencies, as happens in life. Opus One gives you the flexibility to move or reschedule your priorities to accommodate for these events in our lives. By making time each week to go through the process I've just spoken about, using Opus One to do so, the highest priorities in your life come to the forefront of your consciousness each week. It's often been said that what you continually focus on, you move towards. If your focus is constantly on other people's priorities and urgencies, you'll let yourself get swept up in them. Make the conscious decision each week to focus on the things that matter most to you. Put them in your weekly schedule, exercise the discipline to undertake those activities, and you'll find you'll be leading a more productive, happy, and effective life for yourself and those around you. As always, hope you enjoyed this video and happy planning.